Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Dennis Wicker and Jim Mavretti, after lawmakers passed an abortion bill and Governor Cooper vetoed it, most thought it was dead. But Senator Don Davis, a Democrat, voted with Republicans to overturn the vetoes. Now, Democrats called him a traitor, a turncoat, and vowed to run a primary opponent against him next year, raising the question, are Democrats rejecting moderates in their own party? What say you, Dennis? No, I, I reject the idea that that was a rejecting moderates in the Democratic Party. I don't think that's what was going on at all. We've got to remember, Tom, that the, the, the woman's right to choose is a core principle and value in the Democratic Party. Uh, it's been there for many, many years. You run on that ticket. You would hope that the candidate that runs on that ticket would support the, the values and, the, and especially the core values of that party mantra. And um, in this instance, uh, Senator Davis felt like he couldn't do that, and he voted against it when it came up as the bill. The bill. He voted against the bill, um, or for the bill. I'm sorry, he voted, yeah, he for, voted the for the bill. bill. And um, so, in that instance, he he was put a stake down. He, he was standing on his principle yeah. and what he thought. Fine, but I look at this issue as one of whether or not you're going to stick with the leadership, the governor is the leader of your party. You ran on that party banner. You are supposed to support your leader. Uh, indeed, I think everyone who's in a leadership position expects their team to stick with them and, and vote with them on crucial matters. In this instance, Senator Davis didn't do that. I suspect that he did catch the wrath of some folks back home. And I'm and not so sure- And he's gonna catch a primary opponent. Well, he may. Uh, I often like to think that we are a little more tolerant than that, but uh, it could cause him to catch a, a primary. Uh, yeah, that's opponent. sort of the way politics runs today. What do you think of this? Well, it's an interesting, the two panelists, because Dennis was the majority leader of the House when I was a speaker, and we had just gotten uh, through getting rid of a speaker that had been there for eight years, really because of the way he. Uh, and a couple of his uh, henchmen demanded loyalty. handled and, yeah. and demanded loyalty. Um, it's been my opinion that in politics, uh, representative politics, that the first thing that you're supposed to do is represent your district. And you represent the majority of the people and you do what is best for the majority of those folks. Then after that, you do what's best for the state of North Carolina. That's why we have a general assembly to have a party leadership saying, we're gonna recruit people to run against you because you stood for your principles, uh, to me, flies in the face of what a democracy is all about. I know that the majority leader, when I was a speaker, didn't do that, wouldn't <laughs> do that, never has done that, and I don't think it, uh, that it ought to be the but mantra ca today. Caucus politics, though, has sort of become the rule today. In other yes, words, you, you follow your caucus or, or you're well, ostracized. To, 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 to survive, in a lot of ways, you have to do that. Now, go along to get along. Go, you, well, you know, this is the governor, and it's really, he's putting his, his, his neck out there, and he's saying, I'm going to veto well, this. Well, it's not just the governor. It's, 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 the, it's the caucus, it, whether it's your Republican caucus well, well, or Democratic. Well, yeah, but you expect your team, your yeah. team to, to help you uh, uh, be a team player and help you sustain your, your position. And in this instance, he chose not to do that. I think that's the issue to me. Uh, and I note... That, that Senator Davis, after he voted with the Republican leadership not to sustain the governor's veto, that uh, this week they took away $35 million from Senator Davis's hospital. <laughs> now, that's politics, I get that. But you have to stick with teams sometimes to be able to accomplish some things. And I think the governor feels very disappointed. So he Senator paid the price Davis for it, Absolutely paid the price, but I think in politics, we ought not to carry this business about everybody has to be on the team all the time. That's not what politics are about. That's not, not what representative government is all about. The first thing you do is to represent your district. And if you don't do that, then the people back home ought to throw you out. And, and we agree. I, I agree with the speaker on that. You do look after your district. He did that when he voted for the bill. This was the question here was, okay, the governor vetoes it. 
do you want to sustain the veto that your governor of your party has put out there? And he didn't do that. I see a difference. I see a difference in those two. Yeah, okay. I, I, there's a nuance here. I will say this. This is a good civic lesson. This, this could be taught in, <laughs> in high schools uh, all across the state of North Carolina is a great example for civics. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.